What is up, Wild Squad? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to cover a very important topic. We are just now coming out of the Blitz promo, which is one of the best times of the year to spend coins, to make coins, to build your team, to spend real life money. It's a really, really good promo for a lot of different things. The problem is a lot of people, if you didn't spend the promo making coins, you were probably spending it spending coins, like I said, and your coin stack might be like the lowest it's been in a long time. I know a lot of people are like that right now. So what I want to talk about in this video is five different ways that you can grow your coin stack up and start building that back up before zero chill or the christmas promo whatever they call it so that you can have a good healthy coin stack going into that ready to spend and ready to build your team back up or to make more coins with as y'all know i always say you need coins to make coins so the most important thing you can do before a promo is get your coin stack as high as possible okay you're not going to make a ton of coins off of a promo more than likely unless you have a lot of coins already so i recommend going into any promo to have at least two or three hundred thousand coins bare minimum so that you can hopefully do whatever methods there are some methods require over a million coins so it just kind of is luck of it all but let's go ahead and get into these right after a quick word from our sponsor boys if you're looking to add that brand new shiny player to your team in madden don't gamble with packs hit up red zone coins for cheap fast reliable coins to help build your team Use code WAS to get 20% off your order. All right, guys, and as we jump into the first one, don't forget to subscribe with the bell notification on. And if you want to make a lot of coins, become a month millionaire, all that good stuff. That's the majority of what we talk about on this channel, which is very, very important for Mutt. So if you want to see all that, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, the first one is going to be pretty self-explanatory, but I got to mention it, okay? I got to mention it. If you know this already, then skip right over it. It's going to be basically just playing the game. Now, when I say playing the game, do it smartly, okay? Do your solo battles first because you can get these done, get 100,000 points, get legend tier in easily just two hours a week. It's very very easy to do you can get a hundred thousand coins every single week with almost no problem if you have like maybe a 84 85 overall team you should be able to knock these out pretty easily if you don't know i've got a whole video on it i'm not going to go over it too in depth basically just go to the solo battles and play all of your opponents on the hardest difficulty which is of course the legend down here if you beat the team on this legend difficulty you don't even have to get a certain amount of points or anything like that if you do all i think it's like 12 games or 10 games that you have to win on legend like that and you'll get legend status which will get you 100,000 coins very very easy way to get a revolving 100,000 coins every single week the other two best ways to just make coins by playing the game is of course just head-to-head -head seasons head-to-head -head seasons you can actually make a lot of coins especially if you're a decent player and you can actually win every now and then you can make a lot of coins off of that it adds up for each win for each season completion for each super bowl win if you're able to get that that adds up very very quickly so do that especially if you're a decent player even if you are in a lower tier and then finally just do weekend league guys if you're good enough to get at least 10 wins in a weekend league that will stack up for you very very quickly that's like another hundred thousand easily right there if you're able to get 10 wins every single week and doing that if you got like two weeks until zero chill or so i mean you can do that with solo battles and head-to-head -head seasons you can easily get up to five hundred thousand coins just by doing this all right number two on the list is just pull an ltd out of pack no no, no 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 i'm kidding that's ridiculous okay number two on the list is just go and work the auction house snipe flip cards all that good stuff again we're not going to go too into depth to really any of these methods just because i want to go in overarching five different ways that you can make coins but generally speaking guys you just want to go down look at the filters see what the good prices are and then flip the cards i have a lot of videos out on this i have a basic sniping tutorial on my channel go check out that one if you don't know how to snipe and flip cards but very very simple go filter by filter uh 80s to 80 ones we'll just do a really really quick tutorial right here you can sell these for easily uh 4, 000. so you're looking for anything under 3600 because after tax anything under 3600 would be a profit you just go team by team uh position by position anything like that and we've actually we've already got a snipe right there just on the main page at 3000 and then you just go team by team team by team there's a lot of different kind of filters so go check out my other video my sniping tutorial video if you don't know how to do all that stuff you can make a lot of coins guys seriously you can make hundreds of thousands of coins a week easily by doing this you can do it on the mobile app very easy to do Go do that for sure. All right, number three, some of y'all might roll your eyes at, but guys, it's actually a really, really, really great time to do this one. Let me show you how. It's going to be the gap method. If y'all don't know, the gap method is the 500 coin uh, get a player pack where you get a 62 plus silver player. Here's the reason that you want to do this right now. Here's the reason that you, okay, 500 coins, right? Do buy it. If you filter down, all of these silvers are selling for at least 1,000 coins. You can see this one for 1,400 coins just sold right here. This one just sold for 1,700 coins down here. It's going to continue happening, guys. You literally cannot lose coins right now on the gap method. Do this right now and even if you only pull silvers you're going to be profitable it is literally free money right now while the market is like this always go and check the market before you start doing the method but guys even if the market is dropped even if these are only going for 250 300 400 coins by the time you come and look watch this video uh the gap method is still gonna be profitable it is literally profitable year round the only problem with the gap method is that it sucks because it takes so long it's just so long and tedious and if you you know if you have the time to sit there while you're watching netflix 
or whatever it's literally free coins so go and do it and if you don't want to sell every single little uh, silver then you can go and put them into exchange sets obviously you have a chance to pull some elite some high elite some coin cards all that good stuff so definitely go and do the gap method right now just if you're just sitting there passively and you don't know what to do just go do the gap method you can open a hundred packs for fifty thousand coins it's super super cheap and you will profit on every single pull right now with the way that the market is go do that now number four could be a little gem based off of what happened in madden 20 and i guarantee you guys a lot of people are going to forget about these sets you go over here to the archive you go over to superstar mvps okay and i'm going to show you all why you want to look into these right now okay looking at some of the cards lamar jackson terry matthew ezekiel elliott miles garrett tyler lockett you know we got some good guys in here okay we got some big names minka fitzpatrick that need upgrades okay some of these guys i i don't know if some of them might have upgrades but a lot of them uh, lamar jackson terry matthew zeke miles garrett a lot of these guys need really big upgrades so in madden 20 these are some of the superstar mvps or whatever they were called in madden 20 that got upgrades at about this time, either around the Harvest or the Zero Chill. So Luke Keekley, he got a Team of the Year card. That's in January, typically. Mahomes and Todd Gurley got a Zero Chill card, so they were very valuable. OBJ and Ertz both got Harvest cards, and they were these MVP guys. So guys, any of these guys that don't have upgrades yet, which I think is the majority of them, it might be a great time to jump on them and consider investing in these guys. I am not quite there yet. I don't want to invest into them just yet, but you don't want to go invest, and everyone knows that Mahomes is getting a card soon, right? So everyone's investing in Mahomes' uh, power-up, his main card, his 88 overall, all that stuff. Don't do that, okay? There's really no reason to do that. But you can save up the cards that you need for these sets, for these master sets, for the Lamar, Taron Matthew, Zeke, you know, these 89s overall. These are the ones that I would really look at investing into. And before you really, if you don't want to just throw an absolute crap ton of money at it, you can just hold on to the cards for the sets because I guarantee a card like Lamar Jackson, if he gets like a 94, it will be a very, very popular card. And this set is going to shoot up in price. You should be able to complete Lamar Jackson. Jackson set, for example, for about 60 or 70,000 coins. Guarantee you this 89 overall and his power up will pop up in price whenever he gets that card. And the trick is here to complete it and then sell immediately when the card is announced. Okay, you don't want to go and complete these sets after he's announced unless you can do it really, really quick because you want to sell off of hype. You want to sell immediately. Same goes for Taron Matthew, Zeke Elliott, Miles Garrett, and honestly, any of these other guys. I know Tyler Lockett's already gotten some upgrades, but any of these other guys in here that need to get upgrades. It doesn't have to be just the 89s overall, but these are going to be the big ones, is what I'm saying, because these guys could get some really big upgrades, especially like Zeke, Miles. Garrett really really excited about some of these these are investments so it's not really coins to make right now but they could be really big investments and because this is tucked over back here in the archive with ultimate kickoff and most feared which you can go look at those sets as well if you want to a lot of people forget about them a lot of people just forget that they're over there and it's a really good investment that you can do that a lot of people are going to kind of forget about and number five the best way that you can make coins right now in madden 21 is just to buy them off of red zone coins with code was no, no no i'm kidding i'm kidding that's not actually it i mean you can do that you can go buy them off red zone coins they got pr great prices you can use my code but that's not actually number five but number five is a little bit of self plug for my channel you should watch my videos guys okay and that's not just saying because i want views and everything because we're going to be having a lot of stuff come out over the next week or two and i do a lot of coin methods a lot of investment strategies a lot of things like that that will really help you make coins and the key to making a lot of coins in madden is doing these methods immediately asap when they come out so make sure you subscribe to my channel with the bell notification on so that you can see these methods and do them asap whenever they come out all right, guys, so those are five ways that I recommend you build up your coin stack before the new series, before the new promo, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments below what you're doing to build your coin stack. But thank you all so much for watching. Y'all the MVPs, and as always, I will see you all in the next one.